Uh, in this video, I will be introducing the writing rules of pinyin. Um, it's a little bit complicated, but um, there's no pressure, okay? Um, don't feel like you have to memorize all the rules or uh, write pinyin correctly. Uh, all you need to know is that there are such kind of rules to omit some letters or dots from a final in a pinyin under some circumstances so that you won't feel strange when you see a pinyin like that. As we learned before, a pinyin is constructed with three parts, initial, final, and tongue. And there are 23 initials and 36 finals in writing. Uh, but finals starting with letter E, U, U, uh, may be omitted with letters or dots or, or just replaced by separation letters E and U. Um, here are the details. Writing rule number 1-1. One -one. Add separation letter E before final E. If a pinyin has no initial and E is the main sound of a final. As you can see, characters on the first row, even with a separation letter E at first in its pinyin, uh, they are only pronounced with finals. On the meanwhile, characters on the second row are pronounced by combining initial and final. Uh, you can try read these characters or repeat after me. E, E, in. In, 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 xi, yi, xi, qi, in, qin, te, in, ting. Writing rule number one dash two. Replace final e with the separation letter e. If a pinyin has no initial and E is not the main sound of a final. In pinyin of characters on the first row, uh, the main sound of finals are letters after E, and E is more like a transition sound. For example, a uh, final with letters E and A uh, is pronounced as Ya, Ya. Uh, you don't pronounce it as E A, E A. Uh, that would be weird. Um, same with other finals like ye, yao, yu, yan, yang, yong. So when a character is pronounced with finals only, and these finals happen to start with e, but with e not being the main sound of the final, separation letter e is used to replace final e. Uh, when writing the pinyin, uh, different from characters which are pronounced by combining initial and final on the second row. Uh, you can try read these characters by yourself or repeat after me. Ya, ya, ye, ye, yao, yao, yu, yu, xi, ya. Xia, qi, ye, qi, te, yao, tiao, qi, yu, qiu, yan, yan, yang, yang, yong, yong, te, Yan Tian Chi Yang Chiang Shi Yong Xiong. The next three writing rules are similar to these two. Uh, only difference is that it's combination of separation letter U and final starting with U uh, and combination of separation letter E and final starting with U. U, U, Bo, U, Bu, Wa, Wa, Wo, Wo, Wai, Wai, Wei, Wei, Zhi, Wa, Zhua, De, Wo, Duo Ge Wai Guai Ch 
吃，微吹，弯弯温温汪。汪，嗡，嗡，歌弯关，次温村，科汪框，雨雨，云云。曰，曰，渊，远，积，于，聚，期，晕，群，昔，曰，学，期，渊，全。Writing rule number four: admit. 有，土有，微，土微，温，土温。If any initial is before them, uh, well, this one is pretty simple and obvious to understand. Uh, but you should know that omitting mid letter from these finals in writing doesn't mean swallowing its pronunciation. Uh, the pronunciation remains the same with or without mid letter in these finals. 七，优，求，的，优，丢，吃，微，吹，歌，微，贵，次，温，存，特，温，吞。Writing rule number five: omit two dots above the final u. If u is not after initial n or l, and that means all finals starting with u. This is a rule I would want you to remember because otherwise you may misread u as u, and that would be wrong pronunciation. U. 雨，七，晕，群，西，约，学，七，渊，全，呢，雨，女，了，约，略。Congratulations, you made it to the end. Um, I know today's content may be a little bit difficult and tricky, um, but again, no pressure. Okay,、um, you don't have to memorize all the rules to write pinyin correctly.、Uh, all you need is to know how to read them when coming across such special cases.、Um, so be confident. Okay, see you next time.